suffer back pain from time to time, I pulled muscle exercising or a night of sleeping, a little bit funny, but it goes away in a couple of days, usually. But when you live with constant back pain, then you're living your life at 50%. It's hard to live in the moment when you're constantly distracted by pain. And that's exactly what's happening to Stephanie. I wake up every day with back pain when I have six children and a husband that I need to take care of. The last thing I want to deal with is back pain. I have trouble throughout the day. I can't sit for a long period of time. I can't stand for a long period of time. Picking up my toddler is like Russian roulette daily. There really is no rhyme or reason why it does flare up. I wake up in the pain and I go to bed in pain. Once I take the children to school, I come home and I'm on the couch on a heating pad. To try to relax is virtually impossible. I ball up my sweatshirt or I have an oblong pillow. If I'm driving in the car, I have a certain pillow that I put behind my back. To live with constant pain affects every area of your life. I actually am not working right now because of my back pain and you can become depressed. You don't get to do the, the things you used to do, ride your bike, go outside, go for walks, and play ball, push my toddler on the swings. As active as I used to be, it's very hard now because I'm so limited to what I can do. So it really impacts every single person in the family. I have tried, I think, everything possible. Acupuncture, massages, medication, pain management, nothing has worked and I don't want to have back surgery. I would love to have the old Stephanie back and be rid of this back pain. So Stephanie's here and she describes how unpredictable her life has become, never knowing when she's gonna have a flare up. It makes it emotional and it makes it physical, the pain that you're suffering. Absolutely. So how, how would your life be different if you didn't have the back pain? I could be the old Stephanie. I could have fun. I could go traveling, play with my toddlers, play with my children, sports. So the interesting thing about back pain is that it's, Ubiquitous, we all have it, and yet right. it's so hard to find answers. It is, it's, it's like I'm helpless because I've tried just about everything and nothing has worked. Nothing. Well, I've got an answer for you today. I brought my personal physical therapist in. Come on over, I want you to meet her. Peggy Brill, who's superb at this, and world famous at it as well. I'll let everyone know that it's Peggy amazing. was kind enough to meet with you a little bit uh, before the show, and she put you through a little workout. It's not a workout, it's six tests, basically. I want you all to do, do these six quick tests at home. It's simple easy, and there's no excuse for not doing it. We're gonna walk you through these six tests, and then I'm gonna have Peggy also explain how she diagnoses people when it's not right. Based on these tests, we'll have treatments, specific treatments that will help you. Okay, walk us through them. All right, so Stephanie, first thing I want you to do uh, is, and everybody at home can do this as well, is I want you to put your hands on your thighs, and I wanna see what you can do bending over. Just slide your hands along your thighs and touch your toes if you can. Good, dropping your chin down, and then come back up. Okay, and when, I, when Stephanie did that, we saw that you were somewhat limited. She, you have long hamstrings, but you can't reverse that motion in your spine. So you're limited in what's called flexion. Then the other test you're gonna do is put your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna put your hands on your buttocks and you're just gonna bend backwards. And you're gonna keep your head straight ahead, Dr. Oz, so you don't get oh, dizzy. <laughs> and then you're gonna come back. And back. fall over and get hurt. All right, and you have pretty good motion there. Then the other thing I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna walk on your heels and you should be able to walk on your tippy toes. Now, if you can't do this at home, this is something immediately that you've really got to go to your doctor, your neurologist, or your orthopedist and see what's going on because that's, that's something, signs of something that has to be addressed. But you were fine with that. Okay. Then the other test I'm gonna look at is stability. I'm gonna have you stand on your right leg and see how level your pelvis is. If you can just hold that and how steady you feel for about six seconds. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna to switch to the left side and see if you're stable oh, the weakness. on that side. I found a weakness over there, Peggy. <laughs> and then you're gonna go back to that right leg and you're gonna do what's called a mini one leg squat. So I just want you to first stand on that leg as I'm doing this in heels. And then you're gonna just bend and straighten and see how much you're struggling to keep your trunk upright. So there's two things, mobility and stability. If you have either of those or both of those a problem, you're gonna have back pain. Right? Right, let's come on over, let's go to the truth tube because I've got your results here. Oh. And we took pictures of you as you were doing these with Peggy before the show. So Peggy, if you don't mind, walk us through exactly okay. what you found. Here's the first image. Yes, when well, we saw her stand on one leg and do the squat, she had a lot of trouble keeping her trunk upright, which tells me there's weakness going on in the lower extremity and that that's affected from the back. This is a question for you. There's a treatment for this. It's very straightforward, but you gotta do it okay. re religiously. Are you willing to let 
uh, your back pain be thing of the past, to, get pa to make sure that it's not interfering with the life of those wonderful six kids. I would love to. All right, here's the deal. When we come back, the back busters you can do at home to heal your chronic back pain. Stay with us. <laughs> Chronic back pain can take a physical and emotional toll that keeps you from living your life to the fullest. But take a look at these women. Phoebe is a mother of two young kids. Her constant back pain made it hard for her to care for her kids. But just four months after having her baby, she is now back pain free. Or take Jennifer. Jennifer's a nurse. She's helping care you know, take of lots of folks, but she suffers back pain herself. And now she's back pain free. Now, both of these women fixed their back pain using an at-home plan by world-renowned physical therapist, Peggy Brill, who's with us today. So why is your plan working when so many people have chronic issues like Stephanie? Well, I mean, the truth is you gotta make it easy and effective and not take a lot of time. Because as a mother, I have two kids, you don't have a lot of time to exercise, you have six kids. Right. It's gonna target exactly where your weakness is and where your tightness is. Okay. Walk us through the hot spots where these pains often come from. Well, it comes from what I like to call the core, gut, butt, and back. Gut, butt, and back. <laughs> gut, butt, and back. It rhymes and alliterates. It's good. All right. So it's a little bit of a, of a practice we're going to do right now, okay. but you'll be doing it every day after this. Okay. Come on over. We'll use you as an example, Stephanie, but we're going to put a lot of these bits of information on the web so folks can find out their back pain and, and match it up to the treatment. So I put it here, your back, butt, and gut. So how should you we do lie back? down on your back here. You had up here, Stephanie. Now, so Stephanie had limitation, you, you had limitation bending over. So what I want to do is restore that flexibility into flexion in your back. Okay. So you're going to start off with pulling one knee in towards your chest. And you're just going to grab that knee and stretch it as much as you can. You don't have to create pain, just hold that. You're going to hold it just three to six seconds. What about the women at home who are rolling their eyes saying, stretching is not going to help my back. I've tried that. Yeah, well, they might need to do a different stretch. If they're limited going backwards, they got to try that stretch. But for Stephanie, this is what so she needs. People who have back, who can't go back, they have who, to... They, they have to stretch in the opposite direction, get on their belly and press up this way. Now bring or this Or at work, down, go like this. Oh. Or stand up and do that standing extension. Everyone in America extension. walking around like this. <laughs> then the back's out. That's a whole different problem. Exactly. <laughs> All right, butt, come on over, roll over. And then you're going to roll over onto your belly, and this is where you start to strengthen the gut and the back. So, Stephanie, you're going to put one hand underneath your forehead, and the other arm you're going to reach way out in front of you. You're going to lengthen that, and you're going to take the opposite leg here and lift that straight up in the air and lift this arm up. This is called cross extension. And you're going to activate those muscles. You don't have to lift that leg so high okay. because you want to keep this stable, but activate here and here. This is going to start to strengthen your back and add stability to your pelvis. That's why it's called the butt exercise, I guess. Right. It's like and then you hold that here. six seconds, bring that hand in, and you're going to switch to the other side. Okay. It's harder when you do that exact. All right, final roll. Come over to the gut side. You're going to roll over onto your back. And so these are great because you could do these on your bed. Here, Before you get out of bed in the morning, you could just do these before you get up and start your crazy busy day, okay? okay. <laughs> so this is gonna be the belly blaster. You're gonna bring this opposite knee up towards your chest and you're gonna take this opposite hand and you're gonna push against that knee, pulling that rib cage down and in, oh, yeah. into yeah. the back. And this yeah. is a great way to activate those four abdominals without like straining your neck and right. flexing through your back. Because people do push-ups and sit-ups and all these exercises. I'm not a big advocate of sit-ups. I You're think not. there's a lot of pressure for the back, the neck, and the pelvic floor. I have a lot of pain in my neck. So yeah, this well, this won't hurt your right. neck. And you'll exactly. strengthen your stomach without compromising your neck. Then you're gonna hold the other leg six seconds, holding that leg up, and hold your toes toward your nose. And you press against that. And you can maximize that by the more you pull that leg in, the more you push away. And you don't think it's hard, but that's six seconds. Now that's roll a good your way workout. over here to the truth tube. Okay. <laughs> come over here. Come on here. All right, let's go. So that, those are the exercises. But the, the second part of this exercise today is revolutionary. And I have been doing this wrong my entire life. I have no idea why I didn't hear this earlier. I always thought that I, when I was sore, after a couple of days, I would put heat on that area. Do you know, a lot of you in that category with me? Right, so if your back's sore and it's been chronically sore for a week or two, you start putting warm heating pads behind you and you know, take baths and the like. You're arguing, no, not at all. We have to think cold. Now, I'm much more an advocate of ice, 90% of the time. A lot of times I'll combine it. I'll say, if you get chilled, put the heat on your neck, put the ice on your back. This will help with the spasm like the heat does, but mm -hmm. it's also an anti-inflammatory and an analgesic. Okay. 
Okay. I hope this is helpful for you. It, 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 I used to have chronic back pain. Peggy really helped me, and I bet she'll help you too. Thank you. All right. Listen, Thank what we're going to do, all the backbusters out there, with Peggy Brill are going to be on DrOz.com, plus all the information from our true tube experts. And if you check it out and get some benefit, let me know about it so we can spread the word. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.